employ the three miracles of wealth accumulation. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, how to become an ultra high net worth individual. So I'm Doug Andrew and I've been a financial strategist and retirement planning specialist for more than four and a half decades. And I've helped many, many people accumulate wealth, but I've also been blessed to meet many multimillionaires and billionaires. And so I've had the opportunity in private to ask them how they accumulated that wealth. There are three basic marvels or miracles of wealth accumulation that I have discovered. And I've also used these to help many people become wealthy, even ultra mega wealthy, the billionaire class. They use these three marvels or miracles in one way or another. Now, I'm going to also use a metaphor in this episode. And as you go through and learn, if this clicks and you want some one else to watch this, be sure and share, click like, subscribe to this channel because I post an in-depth topic every single day that answers a financial question on this channel. So the three marvels or miracles of wealth accumulation, when I first disclose them, some people go, oh yeah, I understand that. We'll see. Are you ready? The first miracle or marvel of wealth accumulation is compound interest. Now, you wouldn't believe how many times I say that in a room full of CPAs or tax attorneys and they roll their eyes and go, oh, we thought this was advanced continuing education. I go, so how many of you think you've got a pretty good handle on compound interest? Yes, we do. I go, okay. Now, it was Albert Einstein that said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. So this is what I do. I pass out an eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper. This is 26 pound copy paper. Now, I don't know if you know what that means. It means that uh, it'll hold 26 pounds of weight before it rips. 26 pound copy paper is the typical and um, it's five one thousandths of an inch thick. And so I pass out a sheet to everybody and I tell them to fold it in half like that and then fold it in half again. Okay. And then I say, now imagine if you folded this over 48 more times in half. Now you physically can't do that because of the folds and they pretty much know that. But imagine if you could fold it over 48 more times, a total of 50 times. I want you to take out your pen and write down on this sheet of paper about how thick this would be if you folded it over 48 more times a total of 50 times in some form of measurement, uh, millimeters, centimeters, inches, yards, miles. And so they all write it down. Now I've done this with rooms full of 80 financial professionals. And then I go around the room and I say, hold up your answer. The most common answers are three quarters of an inch, six inches, two inches. Some people say a mile and they get laughed out of the room. Now I understand compound interest. I didn't have a calculator. But I said, oh, it's at least 26,000 miles. And I got laughed out of the room. And I go, okay, I thought you had a good handle on compound interest. What is this doing every time you fold it in half? It's doubling. Yeah, double, double, double. On the sheet of paper I hand them, the math is on the inside. Do you know that a sheet of copy paper, five one thousandths of an inch thick, if it's folded over 20 times, it's already a million 48,000 times thicker. It is almost a mile high. What? If you folded it over 42 times, double, 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 the stack of paper would be from here to the moon. If you folded it over eight more times, 50 times, it would be 93 million miles high from here to the sun. If you could fold it over one more time, 51 times, it would be from here to the sun and back. It's double, 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 double. They are shocked because they were thinking three quarters of an inch when it's from here to the sun. That's compound interest. 
Now, it was Rothschild who said, no, the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest tax free, not taxed as earned. Do you know most Americans save their money in taxed as earned investments? It's the worst way to save and the most common way people save money. So I want to illustrate this for you because I've shared with you so far two of the three miracles, compound interest and tax-free accumulation. So let's uh, go over here to this screen and I'll show you a dollar doubling 20 times. Now linear growth would just be a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. It's like taking uh, 20 steps. But if you double the number of steps, that's exponential growth. So here we go, a dollar doubling to two, to four, to eight, to 16, to 32, after 20 doubling would be worth a million $48,000. That's one way to stack up a million from $1. Just double it 20 times. Now it's a million dollars if it's tax free, but most Americans save their money in banks, credit unions, regular mutual funds. Some people use tax deferred IRAs. So they may say, well, I have a million tax deferred. Well, it's not all your money. A third of that belongs to the government. Only about 650,000 of that is your money. I prefer totally tax free. So a million is only if it's tax free. And that's my preferred way of saving. Let's say you have to pay tax as you go at the bank or the credit union every year on your earnings. And let's say you're in a 25% tax bracket. So a dollar doubles to $2. You have to pay tax of 25 cents on that dollar. So you only have a buck 75 left. That buck 75 doubles to 350 and you pay tax on that. Guess how much you'll have instead of a million? Only $72,000. Only 7.2% of what you could have had. This is how most Americans save. But you know that most Americans are in a higher bracket than 25% at the end of the day? Between federal and state tax, many of them pay 33% in California, over 40%. In a 33% bracket, instead of having a million, you'll only have $27,000 instead of a million. 2.7% of what you could have had. So that's why Rothschild said, no, it's not just compound interest because this is compound. It's compound interest tax free. There's a big difference between a million and 27,000. This is only 2.7% of what you could have had. But this is why I prefer tax free accumulation. That is the second marvel or miracle. Now, what's the third one? A lot of people have a hard time getting their brains around this one. I'll say it this way, safe, positive leverage. What's that? Again, if this is intriguing you already, share this with a friend, subscribe to this channel. And at the end of this episode, stay with me. And I want to gift you a copy of my most recent bestselling book where this is all explained. But what is safe, positive leverage? It is the ability to own and control assets with very little or none of your money tied up or at risk in that asset. Did you hear that? Okay. In other words, it's owning and controlling assets where your money is not tied up or at risk in that asset. If I own real estate, I get to participate with the growth on the real estate, but the actual equity in the real estate, I keep separated in a position of liquidity, safety, and earning predictable rates of return because that real estate could drop in value. And I'm earning compound interest over here, tax-free, while the real estate does whatever it does. If the market is growing, I don't have my money in the market. I link my returns to whatever the market does, but my money is not at risk in the market. I leverage. Now, a lot of times you will have advisors like Dave Ramsey that'll say, oh no, I leveraged and I got into trouble. I way over borrowed. And so he pounds on get out of debt, get out of debt and don't ever leverage. Well, that's because he did not have liquidity. See leverage without liquidity is stupidity. It is what makes the world go round. This is the parable of the talents in Matthew 25. This is the parable of the pounds in Luke 19. This is where I can control assets and own them with very little or none of my money tied up at risk in that asset. In other words, if Donald Trump going to be buying a skyscraper, what's the first thing he does? Does he talk to his money manager and say, Hey, bring the checkbook and write out a check for that skyscraper? No. He says, Hey, 
What's the least amount of money that we can tie up in order to gain ownership and control of that building? And then let's refinance it as often as possible and keep the money separated from the building because the building's going to go up in value regardless of how much money is tied up in the property. But by having the money separated, he can use it for other purposes than when it's tied up in the property. Okay. This is safe, positive leverage, but you want to have liquidity. When people leverage with no liquidity, then all of a sudden when a recession hits, they don't have any liquid money because it's all tied up in the properties. That's not what I'm talking about. You want to have full liquidity. So that is the third marvel or miracle of wealth accumulation. So how does this all come together? So how does all this come together? If you study the lives of very successful people like Walt Disney, JC Penney, Ray Kroc, the originator of McDonald's, the hamburger restaurants, they all use life insurance to accumulate their money and keep it safe and liquid. And this is where they leveraged money to be able to save Disneyland when it was in trouble. And uh, Ray Kroc did it with McDonald's. JC Penney did it to save his department stores. They use life insurance policies to keep their money liquid, safe, earning compound interest, totally tax free. And then they leverage that. I have many multi-millionaire clients who will keep millions of dollars inside of their max funded indexed universal life insurance policies. I call them laser funds, L A S E R liquid assets, safely earning returns because they're tax free. They compound. Now it's not pie in the sky rates of return, but I have a client in 2017, he buys apartment complexes that are sort of worn down and he buys them and he fixes them up and then he flips them. And so he bought a $30 million property that year. He needed a million dollars to tie up the property on his earnest money. So he borrowed a million out of his life insurance policy with me. And the insurance company charges him 5% because he could have withdrawn a million. Instead, he borrowed it. Why? Because the insurance company kept crediting him 25% that year. It was an incredible year in the market. And he links his returns to what the market does, but he doesn't lose if the market goes down. That's called indexing. He made $250,000 on his million while he was using it in his business because the insurance company loans you a million. There's no loan application. You just fill out the form and say, I want to change the nomenclature. I want to borrow a million using my policy as collateral. Fine. They gave him a million bucks, charged him 5% or 50,000. He made 250,000. He netted 20% return tax free on his million. He made 200,000 on his million in his insurance policy while he was using that million as leverage to fix up a rental property and sell it and double his money over there. Hello? This is what savvy, smart people do. That's why I use a max funded indexed universal life insurance contract because it has these incredible marvels. You accumulate your money tax free compounding. You can access money tax free but you can use it for safe, positive leverage to become your own banker, to be able to have your own family bank is what I call it. Would you like to learn more? This is what has motivated me to write 12 books so far. My most recent best-selling book is called The Laser Fund because I affectionately call a maximum funded indexed universal life insurance contract structured correctly to do what I'm talking about. The laser fund, liquid assets, safely earning returns. This is how to diversify and create the foundation for a tax free retirement, a tax free emergency fund, all kinds of other goals, college funding for your kids, grandkids. It's like a financial Swiss army knife, but it envelops all of those miracles and marvels in one. So go to laserfund.com or click below and you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. And I'll pay for the book and fire it out to you, but also look at the other options to listen and learn and watch and learn. My two sons and I, they're co-authors with me on this book, recorded an 18 hour masterclass. And everybody who has gone through that 18 hour masterclass takes their finances to a whole new level when they learn these principles. So here's to your brighter future. Make sure and claim your free copy of this 300 page book.